And loving Tina and Gugu's influence this morning, I think there are a lot of parents out there rushing to their children's bedrooms to go and look over prices and compare. That is crazy. So we're going to continue that discussion. But right now, we are going to focus on self. And boxing is amazing for self-development, rigorous, demanding. I kind of consider it more a martial art than a sport these days because of that level of improvement. It's important that you have trained properly, though, and you get the right kind of grounding. So we are going to cross live this morning to The View. Bedford View, my old stomping ground, where our very own Kutle is with the amazing Kyle Sham from Fight Sports Centre as they take us through some of the best warm-up exercises before we get into the ring. Good morning to everyone in studio. Moloni Nongekuni Mzanti. I hope that you woke up feeling so good. It's time to move and shake the body with something that I've never done before, by the way. We are at Fight Sports Center in Bedford View with Kyle Sham, who's going to be taking us through a boxing workout today. Kyle. That's right. Are you looking forward to it? I am. Thank you so much for having me. I know that boxing can be very rigorous. Where do we even start? Yes, boxing is a rigorous exercise. It's really good for conditioning, to get you into great shape, your confidence, and maybe it'll teach you one or th two things. Awesome. So before we get into it, let's get warmed up. The first exercise I'd like you to do, some jumping jacks. Let's go. So just these ones over here. Three, four. That's it. Five. Perfect. Six. So when did you start boxing? I started boxing about seven years ago. I just took a stroll through Norwood, Grant Avenue, saw a sign that says, come in for a free trial, walked up, met the owner, and my life changed forever. Whew, that is incredible. Now, seven years later, you are here at Fight Sports Center teaching me how to box. What's the next workout? Squat for me, please. So what you want to do is get those legs nice and warm. Please don't get your knees over your toes. So almost like you're sitting down on a chair, back nice and straight, and up. The form is something that I usually struggle with when it comes to squats. Do that I look up good. or do I look you straight You want to keep your, your vision straight. Cool, let's do it. Let's How go. many? We're going to do 10 of these. Beautiful. And then do you squeeze your buttocks when you... Yeah, <laughs> when you come up, you can definitely squeeze those glutes. <laughs> That's what we want. Some right. bodies are made in winter. That's number eight, surely. Nine. One more. Time. Ten. Good job. Woo! The next exercise I like to do is to get the abs warm, the shoulders warm, get a little bit of cardio. So you ready? I am ready. We're going to do some mountain climbers. So you're going to go into a push-up position, hands nice below us, and what you're going to do is you're going to raise one knee to your chest, bring it back down, other knee. Cool. Now let's go in a bit of a rhythm. That's it. Don't forget to breathe. Very important. So we're going to do about 20 of these, mm -hmm. really get the heart rate going. There's about four more left. Three, two, one, and time. Yeah, How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling good. I do feel the blood pumping. Awesome. And I'm feeling really rejuvenated right now. Awesome. And then last, one last thing, let's work on some abs. You know, we've got to get those abs ready for summer. Yes, please. Awesome. Uh, so let's just get you a mat over here. Now, why would you say it's important to get your body moving, to warm up before a boxing match. Oh, very important to do a warm up for injury prevention. We don't want to injure ourselves and just to get those good juices flowing like you mentioned. Amazing. So what are we doing with the mats right now? Awesome. So let's take a seat down here. What I'd like us to do is pretty simple. You're going to put your hands here. Your feet are going to come off the ground for me, please. Now bring your knees to your chest and kick them out and back in. And out. Can you feel those abs working? 100%. Awesome. <laughs> you don't have to rush these. Feel every second. Feel those abs working. So the heels can't touch the ground? Try, nope. Keep them lifted off the ground. How's my form? Looking very good there. Is very it? nice. Your core is strong. <laughs> Give me three more. Well done. We're coming for those abs. Three, two, one. one. And time. And we're Great done. job, Bruce. There. <laughs> that was awesome. So just a quick tip on those. What I'd like you to do is always have a nice straight back. back. Straight back is less pressure on your lower back and it's all on your abs. Hands to give you a bit of support and keep those feet off the ground, then you're gonna really feel it. So you can give yourself about a 30 seconds rest and then you can jump into about one more set. If you're really looking to push yourself, you can do a third set. Amazing, thank you so much, Kyle, for getting the day started with all of us here on Expresso at the Fight Sports Center. I'm pretty sure a lot of our viewers have taken down notes as well. How can we get in touch with you, Kyle? 
You can follow me on Instagram at Carl underscore Bam Bam underscore Sham. And bam, just like that, we are done this morning. I hope that you were following along the warm-up routine just before an intensive boxing game. But right now, though, it's back to you guys in studio. I'm going to continue working on my court right now. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Looking good. Five. How is she still uh, talking? Oh, how is she not even... I mean, Joel, She's, you've you got are it. super fit and we are so proud. Um, well I, know, I love the fact... Well, look, we do send her on a fitness excursion this is true. like every second day. Kutle, we love you. I love the boxing vibe there and I love hearing the Bedford View accent, but <laughs> I miss it so much you don't understand, my boy. Jeez. <laughs> so it. cool. Well, there we um, go. I mean, it's a great workout to indulge. Great workout. Mind-blowing discussion around pink tax. I am blown away with regards to this. We are not done yet. We're talking about pink tax. We're understanding it a little better. Uh, that disparities between gender-based products, it's yep. huge. It is affecting us on a global scale as well. We have two experts here with us. We're going to continue that conversation just after the break. Stick around. Um, just go and check your partner's the price of her skincare yeah. routine. Just have a look at that. Then we've got 5,000 Rand to give away as well. Another winner will be made live after this.